Florida has over 1,300 golf courses, and to maintain all that green grass, our environment pays a heavy price. Golf courses use an unbelievable amount of chemical fertilizers. They apply these fertilizers with spreaders, and every time it rains, these chemicals get washed into their ponds. This is the only way to get that nice green look that everyone expects a golf course to look like. Golf courses also spray lots of herbicides, insecticides, and fungicides. Carts go out and spray the grass with all kinds of chemicals. This is happening all over Florida every single day. They even spray when golfers are playing on the course. If you golf, I am sure you have seen one of these carts spraying at your local course. The combination of all these pesticides and fertilizers going into the ponds creates another problem, and that is algae blooms. So golf courses have to spray algicides to control this algae. I believe golf courses are one of the most toxic places that you could live, and if you are unfortunate enough to live on one, you are basically paying a lot of money to someone else to poison you. Today I'm going to show you the golf course that I have to drive by every day. It's called Monarch Country Club. This is their golf course from Google Earth. This is the main pond in the property and it stretches from the entrance all the way back to here. This pond gets sprayed so many times a year that if you zoom in on Google Earth, you can actually see the spray truck was there the day that Google Earth satellite snapped this picture. This was taken in January of 2021, and as you can see, he is spraying all the shorelines for emergent plants. And it is obvious that they had been sprayed not long before because they are already brown. The light green plants he is spraying here is what we call palm slime. It is actually a type of algae that is real common in any water body that is regularly sprayed. He approaches the only cattails on this course, and watch him as he annihilates these poor plants. If there are any birds living in this pond, this is where you would find them because they use the cattails to hide from predators and to nest in. It is also home to many other critters living in this pond like frogs, snakes, and lizards. He spends several minutes dumping all sorts of deadly chemicals on the only emergent plants in this pond. Here's where it gets interesting. Watch him as he sprays this shoreline. There appears to be some submerged vegetation just away from the shore, so he really blasts it to make sure it all dies. He sprays an area that looks like this might be some kind of scum, possibly algae. Since this part of the pond is up against a putting green, we can assume that this part of the course received an extra dose of chemicals that probably ran out of this pipe. Watch as he circles around it and hits it a second time. I returned a couple of months later on April 21st, 2021, and I couldn't believe what I saw. This same shoreline had erupted into a full-fledged harmful algal bloom, so the little boat was there again but this time he was obviously spraying algicides to kill the algae that all his spraying created a couple of months earlier. Watch as he sprays this algae and tries to break it up. At this point, this algae is probably giving off toxins, so all the people living around this pond, not to mention the golfers, are having to breathe in all these toxins. This algicide is likely copper sulfate because that is the only algicide approved for aquatic use in Florida waters. The EPA states on their website that copper sulfate is, and I quote, very highly toxic to fish and aquatic life. It basically kills everything it touches. When he is done spraying the shoreline, he moves out into the open water and begins to dump his tank. He just turns on the hose and lets her rip. In no time, he empties his tank and is ready to fill it up again. Unbelievable. I returned five days later to see what this spraying had done to this pond. The water seemed to be a darker green. 
So did the algaecide even work, or did they just wipe out all the fish and critters for nothing? It is time to go check out the other ponds on this golf course that this little boat could not get to, so it was probably not sprayed. This is our first one, and as you can see, it doesn't look like there's any algae on this pond. Let's go check out the pond in the back of the clubhouse. As we get closer, it doesn't look like any algae is on this pond either. They probably figured it out that it wouldn't be a good idea to turn the pond next to the clubhouse a bright green, not to mention the smell that the algae puts off. Let's go back to Google Earth because I want to show you this pond right here. You know I always save the best for last. As we fly over it, you can see that all the houses have fences that are connected together so it would be impossible to get this spray boat on this pond. It would also be hard to get a cart in here to spray the pond as well. I doubt it receives much chemicals because this water is crystal clear and you can see right to the bottom. There seems to be a lot of submerged vegetation around the entire perimeter of this pond. There is also more emergent plants up on the shore. This is the healthiest pond on this golf course and I don't believe it gets much, if any, chemical herbicides. If golf courses would stop spraying chemicals in their ponds, this is what they would all look like. Just look at all of these fish spawning nests. So I have to ask the question, do you want your pond sprayed because this is what they will look like? Or do you want your ponds left alone so they can look like this? The only ponds on this golf course that has algae in them is the ones that got sprayed. Florida, stop the damn spraying.